down here today. I'm working on the roof and where the wall meets the foam that's coming down from the roof section. Uh, it is starting to be all work that's up on ladders, which slows things down. Uh, but it's going okay all, uh, overall. Uh, we haven't had a ton of wind today, which is good because when you bring up the big foam panels, you can see they act like sails. But it's been, it's been all right for that. And what I'm doing right now is cutting down the profile of the wall with this saw to be ready for the roof to come down. I'm just going to cut a section off right now. And I'm trying to make it so it's nice and flush. So uh, trying to keep the saw as, as flush as I can with the, uh, the roof. Board. Right. And I'm just doing a little bit at a time so I can kind of correct myself because it invariably kind of floats. And I'll pull off these chunks here. Let those go down, and it's still looking pretty, pretty decent. I've got I, I got this uh, little sample piece of roof that I made, and this has three layers of two-inch foam because the roof needs six inches of insulation on it. And the way it's going to work is it's going to come right down here, and it'll overlap these walls here, and then we'll we'll cut it flush like that. So. That's what I'm looking for right now, is for these roof pieces to kind of continue on, and that's why I'm cleaning all this stuff off. There's a lot of foam dust down here, though. So, ugh. I'm trying not to breathe that in too much. So, again, I'm just taking the saw and going along and trying to uh, just keep it nice and flat and smooth. And I find the best way to do that is to just go very slowly, and let the teeth kind of clear their way, try to keep the, the saw as straight as I can because you know, the saws can bend and flex, and if I, I find if I like really push it through to try to hurry up, it ends up kind of flexing the saw, and uh, you know, I don't get the nice flat, flat profile that I'm looking for. That's it. Thanks for watching.